A man walks into a bar with a roll of tarmac under his arm. He says, pint please, and one for the road. Hi, welcome to Pictures, Noise and Words. I'm Hedgy, and this is Revocation. Um, Galactic Criminal, who has a channel much bigger than this one. Every now and again, he recommends me stuff that he's discovered and, and you know, and, and really liked. And this is one of those bands. I don't know Revocation, but I was looking them up and I realised, I didn't realise, I discovered on their website that, um, that on the 19th of December, they're coming to Manchester, which is just like, just up the road from where I live. And not only are, is this band coming, um, though I haven't heard them yet, so I don't actually know if I like them, but on the bill are Arch Spire, who I've had lots of requests for and just never got round to doing. So I don't know what they're like, but I've had lots of requests for them, so they're definitely going to have to go on the list. Sereption, I don't know those, but Rivers of Nihil are also on the on the bill. Um, and I've just done a video of theirs, and I've got a feeling they'd be really good live. So yeah, this so oh, I'll have to convince some people I know, someone, to go, because I, I don't really like going to gigs on my own. It's just, I don't know. It's a shared experience kind of thing. At least it is for me. So yeah, I just need to convince some people to go with me. Uh, assuming these are good, but the fact that Galactic Criminal was like all over this saying, it, it, you know, this is great. It's, it's going to be great. It's going to be in it. So, um, so let's give it a go. But yeah, that was interesting. They're touring all over. Um, they're in Germany, basically from November, December. They're in Germany... Denmark, Germany again, okay, uh, Poland, Czech Republic, Austria, Slovenia, they're basically going around Europe, mainland Europe, so Italy, Switzerland, France, Spain, Portugal, the whole nine yards, and then they're coming over to the UK, they're doing London, Birmingham, Bristol and Manchester in the UK, and then they're going back again to Belgium, Netherlands and Germany, so they're, they've got a busy two, two months, they're literally finishing on the 22nd of December, just in time to have some turkey for Christmas. So, yeah, Revocation. Not only have I not heard them, I've not heard of them. Um, so, let's see what we get. This is one of those almost out of the blue. They've got a few albums out. I don't know where they're from. I couldn't see it easily and I'm too lazy to look it up properly. But they've got what looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven albums. So if these are really good, it's going to be a really good back catalogue to go and have a look at. But this is from Chaos of Forms. Um, and that reminds me of, as soon as I saw it, I thought, ooh, Forbidden Twisted Into Form. That that reminds me of the album uh, for, for Twisted Into Form by Forbidden. It's not the same by any stretch. It's that spiralling skull thing. I think that's what it is. Um, but yeah, pretty cool cover. The, the covers, when I look on their website, I, are all completely different though. You know, people tend to follow a theme. These guys haven't, I tell you, they are um, got some interesting looking covers. Go and check them out. So I've managed to talk all of this time about a band I know nothing about. So that's 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 a skill, I think, in, in my opinion, that's the skill. So let me just, I started this video and I've not realized, I've not been paying attention. I haven't actually plugged my headphones in. So look, this is, this is, um. As you can see, this is really professional. <laughs> it's what you've come to expect, isn't it? Let's let's face it, my complete lack of professionalism. Um, but then if I was professional, someone would be paying me to do this. It's just, there you go. And I'll throw that around there, and that's out of my way. And normally I do all that before I actually start the camera, but for some reason today and my mind just been elsewhere I was probably just busy just thinking who on earth our revocation so I think we should just find out yay Of the dark eye, 
than a nuclear power plant with a wind farm on it it's just <laughs> it's just like yay go exciting <laughs> This song's called no, no Funeral, by the way. I didn't even say that, I don't think, at the beginning. Clearly, I just didn't have my act together today when I switched this on. Um, <laughs> I got the right T-shirt, I think. I, like, by total chance, I got the right T-shirt on for this because it's kind of like going back to the 90s, isn't it? But in, a, in an up-to-date kind of way, does that make sense? So you've got the kind of the feel, but the nice modern... I guess production I guess you know me and my production shenanigans so um, it's just something to it's like something to put on and just go bonkers to I imagine if I go and see these guys live and I'm definitely seriously thinking about it if I go and see these guys live on the 19th of December it's just gonna be one big mosh pit it's just good. I, I mean, that's only one song. I don't know. Maybe they just do ballads all of the rest of the time. Um, I don't think so, though. Uh, but, you know, if, if there are other songs I like that, all of that energy and all of that, one, how do they make it to the end of a gig without all passing out? But, but two, it must be just crazy. And it, it must be just... 
you know how because you certainly couldn't stand still watching that could you you couldn't just stand like this you know going because mm. it's just I love those I, you know I love nice complicated uh, you know drawn out guitar solos as much as the next person but I also love stuff that goes for like two minutes or something I don't know I know it wasn't two minutes but you know because it's just so of its genre and it's so of its of its time but brought up to date I keep saying that because I don't want it to make I don't want to give the impression that I think it's like a song from the 90s it has the feel of one but it's but it's very much of a, a fairly up to date kind of sound. This is from 2011, so this is quite old. They have done lots of newer stuff. The reason I've done this one is because this is the one that I was recommended. So um, so I could have just you know see if there was a much newer song to do. But like I say, you know, when if I get asked to do something specific, then then you do that one, don't you? So yeah, it's just great. That's just great. That's so much fun. That drummer's totally entertaining, isn't he? You know, windmilling and drumming. One, I'm never ever going to be able to do it. <laughs> but even if I had hair, you know, that's a bit, That there's a trick to that. Um, you know, drummers tend to be sort of a little bit ambidextrous anyway, but swinging my head around in circles at the same time is just asking for it. I've tried singing and, and drumming at the same time. I can't do that either. So, um, so yeah, the drummer was was really a sort of like it's it, well, I just want to say high energy, but the whole thing was high energy, and it just came across so well, which is something you can do live because you're there and you can leap around and you can do the face and you know and produce all of this energy. But when you're recording, it's quite it it I think it's quite some, something that's quite difficult to capture because how many songs have you heard? Or how many bands have you seen live and then you hear the album and it's and it's such a sanitized version of what you get live you know um, but no that was but that was uh that was crazy bonkers and high energy fun wasn't it i really enjoyed that really enjoyed that i'm gonna have to definitely go and check those guys out in uh, more detail and like I say, Rivers of Nihil are touring with them, and Archspire, who I haven't heard Archspire, but I have been recommended it a lot by uh, by by people on the on my channel. So I'm definitely going to have to add Archspire to my list to check out, and maybe go and see them all together. That's going to be it. Four bands on a on a bill, though. I always feel that they don't get enough time because you're trying to get through four bands on a bill. So whoever's headlining says, well, I'm having an hour and a half. <laughs> and then you work backwards from there, you know. So next down on the bill might get 45 minutes, say, and then next down, half an hour. And if you're first on, you might get like two songs or 20 minutes or something. So, um, and if, I don't know what order they're in, but if Rivers of Nihil are on first, they're only gonna hit one song in, aren't they? Um, so anyway, I digress as usual. Hope you enjoyed that. I definitely enjoyed that. It was just, it's just, yeah, kind of. <laughs> that's, that's what, I should have not said any of the stuff I've just said. The song should have just finished and I just should have gone, yeah. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.